Hello friends, this video on fiber and fabric part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have spoken about, uh, we, we have spoken so much about fabric. So we have looked at uh, the cotton fabric. Now, the most common use of cotton fabric is in making clothes. Now, when we talk about clothing material, so cotton is not the only fabric which is used. If you look at the different types of clothes which have been worn by human beings over a period of time, you see that during the ancient days, initial days, uh, animal hair were twisted to long strands to form fabrics. Now, even today, we have a lot of patterns of clothes which are worn unstitched for example you talk about sari you talk about lungi they are all unstitched clothes so just the fabric and it can be used for uh, covering our body whereas on the other hand we have a lot of stitched clothes whether you talk about salwar suit you talk about uh, the shirt pant suit jeans so all of them are stitched clothes so a variety of clothes are being uh, made from the different types of fabric now not only cotton we also will touch upon a few more plant fibers like jute. So jute is again a less expensive natural fiber so it is comparatively less expensive and uh, when you compare it to cotton it is also produced in large amounts. So maybe if cotton is the first one which is produced in the maximum amount then jute would stand second in terms of the amount produced. So it is again obtained from, a, this is how the jute fabric looks like. So you can see that, you know, that the woven structure can be seen very distinctly. So from where do we get this jute fibers? These are obtained from the jute plants and they are obtained from the stems of the jute plant. So basically the stems of this plant, they are like long, soft, they give rise to long soft shiny fibers and then later they are spun into strong threads they have quite a good strength now the jute plant is normally grown during rainy season like uh, in case of uh, cotton they are grown in warm climate but here it needs a lot of water so it is grown during rainy season it is very commonly grown in areas like west bengal bihar and assam in india because they have plenty of rains uh, where do we use jute fibers? It has a huge, uh, I mean, huge variety of applications. So it is used in making the uh, sacks, like which is used for storing coffee or tea or something. So it, it is like the jute bags, the bigger bags, which is used for storage. It is also used to make jute ropes. As I said, they are quite strong and coarse, and that is why they are useful in making ropes. Jute bags are very common not only in terms of fashion but also in terms of durability. Jute silk is again another very common fabric which is used for making saris or uh, other dress materials. The next natural fa plant fiber that we will talk about is coir. So coir is nothing but the coconut fiber. It is obtained from the husk of the coconut. So this is how the outer part of the coconut looks like, right? So when you collect them all, this is what you get. And this fiber is termed as coir. So it is obtained from the husk of coconut. And where do we use them? So it is again used in a lot of places like uh, floor mats, door mats. So there you can find this coir. And by touching it also, you can see that it is coir because it, it looks rough. For making mattresses, the coir mattresses are quite popular because they are comparatively less expensive. So when you touch them, you can actually feel the presence of the coconut fibers inside. A lot of brushes are made out of coirs and these are used for brooming places or cleaning certain places. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.